YouTube new Teller Knight EX structure deck. EX stands for extra money, so you know it's going to be good or cost a lot of money and not be that good. Is it going to be worth it? Let's find out. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. They they didn't reprint Deltaros, they didn't reprint Nova Alpha, they didn't reprint the Altair. They give you half of what you need. So they're like, don't worry. You don't have to go back into Shining Hope for Deneb, but you still have to go back into Shining Hope for everything else that's not Deneb. So is the structure deck playable if you only get the structure deck? My rating is no. It's not a playable structure deck if you just get the structure deck three times. Teller, Stellar Knight Alpha. Equipped to a Teller Knight monster you control, it gains 500 attack. It is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. So let's look at the most popular cards in the game. If you have an equipped card that makes you unaffected by your opponent's card effects, how good is that going to be? So you're protected from Book of Moon, but Mystical Space Typhoon is going to clap you. You counter this, you counter this, you counter Treacherous. The Diamond Direwolf could still pop it, but it, it still eats up a negate. So this is kind of, you know, in the middle. So out of the most popular card, it does. Out of the top 10 most popular cards, it does counter three out of the 10 and forces them to Diamond Direwolf another copy. Is it worth playing though? Probably not. Probably not. The best way to play the Teller Knight deck, I don't think the way to play the deck is going to be different. It's going to be like this. A ton of traps. You're going to need to play a ton of traps. You're not going to have room for putting in an equip card. Just put in a ton of traps, and that's going to be the way to play your deck. You're just going to be putting the Triver in in addition to your Deneb. Now, to make a turn one Deneb or Triver, which we have not looked at Triver yet, all you need is a Vega. Vega could special summon a Teller Knight, or if you have a combination with the Sky Bridge summoning an Altair with the Anuk, that could be a turn one uh, into Triver or the Deneb, or the Deltros, I should say. Now, the biggest question is, why are we going to summon Triver over Deltros? Let's look at that. Let's investigate. So to refresh your memory, when you have Deltros on the field, you cannot be responded to your summons. Your opponent cannot activate cards in response to your summons. So if we look at the most popular cards, they cannot book a moon on summon. They cannot treacherous on summon, ensuring that you get to activate your spell speed one effects like destroy a card in the field. So not being able to be torrential, which is not in Duel Links, but on summon, no bottomless, no flipping up Book of Moon on summon and being able to destroy a card in the field. That's quite a hard effect to beat. How are we going to be better than that? Now, remember, I tell you sometimes it's not about what's better. Sometimes it's about peanut butter and jelly. Put them together. Maybe you want to summon Deltros first, then summon Triver. Well, let's see. Triver! Whoa, uh, Triver! Three Teller Knight monsters, but you're going to make the Batlamis instead. You're just going to do you two Teller Knights, summon this, discard a card to make it. And what it does is during the turn you summon this, you cannot summon except Teller Knights. So that's really going to restrict your extra deck of Teller Knights during the turn. Some cards like Neos Fusion will allow you to do things before you use it. But other cards like this, it's the whole turn. So if you break this rule before you summon this, you're not going to be able to summon it, which I don't think that's going to be a big deal. If we look at the exceeds in Teller Knights, just don't Dweller, don't Star Leech, don't Diamond Direwolf before doing it. You probably don't have the resources to do that anyway. On summon. Return all other cards on the field to the hand. It is not even an option. It's mandatory. So if you don't want this to happen, it's going to happen. Holy crap. Non-targeting removal. 
You know what is really good right now, the tier one deck? That is magnets. You wanna know what's really annoying with magnets? If you try to do something to a magnet, it jumps off the field to summon a Delta. If you actually do something to a magnet, they flip up Powerful Rebirth or they flip up Super Team Buddy Force Unite and summon a magnet from the graveyard. It's so hard to deal with these damn magnets, but you know what deals with them definitively? This effect. They can't jump off the field to dodge this. They can't summon from the graveyard to dodge. You can't, you can't dodge this. No matter what, there's going to be nothing on the field unless you're triggering an effect after it gets returned back to the hand, which you're not going to be. It's just going to be returned. That's insane. That is actually insane. And with Duel Links being 4,000 life, we have the semi-limited concentrating current. Target a face-up monster control, gain attack equal to the defense. That's lethal damage. Summon Teller Knight Triver into concentrating current lethal. But they could chain to this effect. Just because you're returning all cards does not mean it's going to remain face up. So don't get too excited for concentrating current because the most popular card being Book of Moon, they could just chain book. You will get booked. You'll be flipped face down. But you know when they cannot chain book? If you have Deltaros on the field, it says your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you normal or special summon a monster. So if you are somehow able to get Deltaros on the field, maybe a previous turn, and then set up the Triver, Triver cannot be responded to. Triver will be returning everything. Triver will return your Deltaros, which says only if it's sent to the graveyard can you activate its effect. So this will just be off the field, but it could protect it on summon. Probably not going to do a combo like that. But that does maybe lean me towards not maybe wanting to do the concentrating current combo. You tell me if that's worth it. But it's an idea. But generally, I do think this is very good. This is insanely good. If we look at the Batlamis, I think this is a once return. It's not once return. So if you have multi, if you're able to make double Batlamis, you could do Deltaros into Triver or Triver into Deltaros. So it's important to note with the Batlamis, you cannot use it more than once per turn. So you will first probably want to set up a Deltaros, then a Triver on the follow-up. If you want to play a card like Photon Lead to consistently pull off plays like that. But generally, I do think playing the back row is going to be the way. Now, if you own all of the Teller Knight cards already, good news. You can buy the Structure Deck just once. Only one Triver may be needed, but the optimal version might be playing two. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, you know, we have limited spots in the extra deck. Maybe one Triver is going to be the way. I think Deltro, maybe you could play two Deltros, one Triver. I think you're going to have to bump up to three Batlamis, definitely. Three Batlamis, one purchase of the structure deck. You get your third copy if needed, and that's going to be great. So what do I think about this structure deck? I'm excited. When it comes out, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to clap fools with it, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm excited, but I'm not excited to play the back row way to play the deck. I'm going to try to build it exciting with not so much back row, maybe focused on photon leads because I want to be, be making big plays. So hopefully that's the way. Hopefully you enjoyed this view, review, view of the new structured deck. Loving it. Triver is here, and it is top tier in my hands. And by the way, I forgot to review these, but they're they're crap. They're crap. Pretty sure they're crap. Not going to use them. Crap, crap. Kind of crap. Not crap. Really good. It's going to be great. Let's go.